they found something else instead. When we looked at the samples, uh, we expected to see evidence of trauma. So do you guys watch Animal Planet and watch Monster Week? I feel like such an idiot because I didn't know what Monster Week was and I was watching this show last night. It was one of their monster ones and I thought it was a real story because there was a cop on there talking and surely- oh, hello. Surely if there is a cop on there talking it has to be real. I felt like such an idiot when the very last minute the show was on. No, no, no. Um, I thought it was real, and then at the very last few minutes of the show, it shows them walking in the woods, and all of a sudden there's a hazmat team, and then it just, like, goes to the ending. And I was like, are you serious, Brooke? You believe this and watched it the whole way through? So now there's one, they're talking about mermaids. So I do know that these are not real anymore. <laughs> but has this ever happened to you guys? You watch something thinking it's real and then all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, it's not real. <laughs> I felt so stupid. Okay, so I'm thinking about doing some vlogging um, just to kind of spruce up my channel a little bit, I guess, and bring some diversity. And... Um, <laughs> I guess my dog and my cat just like to be on film. Whenever I bring out the camera, they're wanting to get on here, so. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? So I'm thinking about doing some vlogging, um, just because I'm going through a lot of changes in my life right now. Um, positive changes. So I thought maybe it might be cool to vlog it um, and experience it and just look back on it and... I don't know, maybe a way for you guys to get to know me too. Lighting is horrible, but um, I am going to try to do some vlogging and hopefully you guys like it. I do have a second channel. Um, I do have a second channel. I'll link that down below. It's more of a faith-based channel, so if you're not religious or spiritual, you won't enjoy it, but if you are, I hope you will like it and enjoy it. Um, I just posted one of my first videos, so you guys can go check that out if you want. Um, I might do some vlogs on there as well, but those will probably be more personal. Those will probably be more, like I said, faith-based ones. So if that's something you're interested, go ahead and check my link out down below. Um, I, I'm just trying to... I created the other channel so that I could have a, like a beauty life channel and then the other one could be more of like a religious channel, like a faith channel, faith based channel, um, just to keep them separate for those of you that prefer more of one, or one than the other. So um, yeah, so you guys are interested, so if you guys are interested go ahead and check that out. And, um, yeah, not doing too much today. I'm thinking about taking the dogs for a walk. Um, I have to take them one at a time because they're just too big for me to handle both at once. My Lola, um, who's an Akbash, she weighs 140 pounds. So her alone is <laughs> enough. I can't uh, take them both at once. It's just way too much work. So... I might go take them for a walk today, and if I do, I'll probably take you guys along with me. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. See Hi, Kiki. Kiki. Oh, there's a pretty girl. Look at those eyes. Are you mad that I'm filming you? Lola's not feeling very well. She actually has, um, what do you call it? A yeast infection in her ear. And I guess that's pretty common for, like, those dogs with, like, floppy ears, like labs and stuff. So, it's been ten days since I've taken her to the vet, and it's getting cleared, but it's still, it takes forever to get rid of it. Um, I did end up getting a rinse for her. That seems to be helping a lot more. And along with the medication, it's like a medicated cream that you drop in her ear. 
So with those combined, it's actually starting to get better. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my cat has extra toes and fingers. Show them, show them. She's got like thumbs. Can you see? There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I counted wrong. I don't know. She's got extras. And she uses them like, uses this part like a thumb and it just cracks me up. She has a little monkey, the way she grabs. It's like a hand. All these extra toes. She had extra toes, Kiki. You got eye boogies. Every time we come by here, she wants to go in it. It's for sale. I don't know. Every time we go by here, she thinks it's her house, I guess. <laughs> no, it's not her house. Come on. Yeah, she thinks crazy. That is so weird. Okay, so I just got back from my walk with Lola and I am so dewy. She is so much harder to control than um she's just she's she's a good girl, but she is a lot of work compared to Daisy. I had Lola weighed uh, a couple weeks ago and she was 139.4 pounds and that was without um and that was without um, breakfast or lunch or anything. So she's a good 140 normally. And that's just a lot of animal to be taking. She, pretty much she takes me for a walk. She, she's pretty good, but if she sees another dog or something she wants to go see or a person, she will start pulling me and it's just, She's a tough girl, that's for sure. I know when she was a puppy, 
When she was five months old, she weighed 60 pounds. And then um, we had her on a leash that was supposed to hold up to 250 pounds. She broke it, like just at six or five or six months old. And um, I was a little creeped out because I'm like, 250 pounds is a lot of um, strength to break it. I mean, it was metal chain and I, I just could not believe it. Um, it's so cool. I don't know if you guys know, sorry if I have dog hair on my lips or something. And I'm like sweat, I've like sweat off my makeup too. So don't judge please. Um, but I don't know if you guys know much about her breed. She is an Akbash. Lola. She's got an ear infection right now. Lulu. Lola. You're not allowed on the couch, baby girl. Yeah, she's got an ear infection, a yeast infection in it, so that's why it's a little dirty, but... Lola. <gasps> Sweetie. Can I see your golden peepers? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Hello. So you can see my golden peepers, too. Woo-woo. Ha-ha. <laughs> So anyways, like I was saying, I don't know if you guys know much about her breed or care to know. She, Lola, the big one, she's an Akbosh. Daisy, the little one, is a yellow lab. Um, but Akboshes are so cool. They're kind of like a sister breed to a Great Pyrenees. They're quite a bit bigger. Their hair is shorter, more like a lab. Uh, it's kind of like a lab's, but it's, it's different. Um... She, Lola gets mistaken for a white lab a lot of times, but she, there is huge differences in their um, face and their body. They have double dew claws. It's a known thing with the breed. A longer nose, and they usually have a pink nose with some um, freckles. Like, see the freckles? And the pink nose. The golden eyes is a big characteristic. Um, so that's just some of their characteristics. Um, am I gonna zoom? Whoops. So, pretty much they are guard dogs. They're used as guard dogs to protect against livestock, like your goats, um, whoops, like your sheep, goats, horses, chickens, um, Primarily sheep, they primarily um, are protectors of sheep. Ranchers will, especially out here, will take their sheep and go put them in the mount. They'll go take their sheep and have them in the mountains to graze and they'll leave a few of these dogs out there with the flock because of their coat, white coat, they blend in with the sheep. So when there's predators like a coyote, a wolf, or a bear, um, they don't really realize that the dogs are there and then um, the dogs will chase them down and protect them. They are the most loyal breed of dogs. They will sacrifice themselves in order to protect you or part of the pack. If they, I mean, they will protect a cat if it's part of their pack. They will protect a cat. So, um, Sorry, this little diva wants to be part of the action. Um, but yeah, they'll protect their their pack. They'll do anything to protect them. Um, Lola was a baby. She was like three or four months old. And an orthodontist found her in the mountains, her and her sister. And she was extremely malnourished. Some ranchers don't take care of the dogs. They'll just leave them there to pretty much find their own food and water. And that's horrible um and that's what she, where she came from she came from a really bad rancher who's actually had dogs taken away from him for cruelty like that and neglect and she was one of his and um the orthodontist anyways picked her and her sister up they were nothing but skin and bones i'll insert a picture of her so you guys can see her at three months old As you can see, she was really malnourished and not anymore. I mean, we took her straight to Petco when we got her, got her some food, and she is now a very healthy puppy. 
140 pounds later, she is now three and a half years old and happy and healthy. And she has been the most loyal dog I have ever owned. Um, just, she's a, she's incredible. I absolutely love her. This breed of dog is not for everyone. It's not, um, you have to socialize them when they're young if you want them to be around other animals, people. Um, my friend and I went driving in backcountry, went for a drive in the backcountry, and there was this whole field that was full of sheep and I happened to know she's like hey look at it. it's like your dog it's a Lola and I looked over and this dog she was running full force as fast as she could the sheep were going one way and she was going the opposite way and I mean this dog she was going as fast as she could chasing down a coyote it was it gave me it gave me goosebumps it was like the coolest thing to see she was just it's just so neat. She's protecting all those sheep. And um, uh, I met a guy here a couple years ago when I first moved here. He was actually our direct TV guy. And he was telling me how he used to grow up with these kind of dogs. And his family were sheep farmers. And they also had some cattle, I believe. But um, anyways said his sorry this is so hard to talk I don't know why she does this he said that his dog would kill a coyote every day and it also killed a wolf one time and it also chased off a bear and um, there's a video I seen on Facebook of one chasing off a bear it was like the coolest thing I think it was I'm not sure what state it was in but it was pretty cool if I can find the video I'll link that down below too but if you guys haven't guessed it. I am a huge animal lover. Whew. You gotta be with all that hair. I love animals, especially like wildlife. That's one of my favorite things is just to go driving around and looking at wildlife. But um, I love my animals. I really do. They make my life so much happier and better. And they are a huge comfort. But uh, yeah, today's been a kind of boring day. Um, just been doing laundry, and I took the dogs for a walk like you've seen. And yeah, I'll probably do a little bit more laundry. I had to do some bedding, and that usually takes forever to wash my bedding and all that. Not too exciting for a Saturday night. I did go see Avengers. The second one, I believe, um, last night with a friend, one of my good friends from here. She and I got to be honest, I love it way more. Daisy, Daisy, get out of there. Um, I did love it a lot more than the first one. I think it had a lot more humor, especially like adult humor in the second one. Um, and there's one thing that I won't mention because I don't want to like give it away and spoil it for you guys but I really like how there is a I don't want to say there's a couple new characters that were nice to see in there but there's one character that is let's say created that I thought was pretty cool um so yeah seen that last night liked that and tomorrow I will be going to church and I don't know. We'll see what tomorrow holds, but it's just been kind of a lazy Saturday. Uh, pretty quiet, but sometimes quiet is good. Sometimes having a quiet day is good, though. Um, hopefully this will not be the most interesting vlog you'll see from me. Um, this was pretty random, actually. I just have been thinking about doing a vlog, and I thought, well, why am I, I might as well just do it today since I have time. And... You guys can kind of get to know me if you want. Anyways, I just wanted to do a little vlog to see if you guys like it. If you do, that's great. If you don't, that's great too. Um, I don't know how many times I'll be vlogging. If it's going to be like a once a week thing or once a month thing. There'll be a couple here and there. Um, I like watching vlogs. I think they're fun. So... Um, yeah, hopefully you guys like them too and enjoy them. 
Hopefully they're not so random next time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing great. I hope you have a happy Memorial Day weekend with your friends and family. And stay safe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and God bless. Bye.